bus. You're yeah. like, ins- oh, I've heard like the craziest shit on like the Greyhound is just like an insane. But Remember I was that story about the one guy who cut a guy's head off on a Greyhound. I used to have a bit about it because you know, like other comics, <laughs> other com- <laughs> other comics have like the observational <laughs> airplane material. Right. But I, I wasn't doing well enough to get airplane. I'd open all my bits with Greyhound material. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> just got here from the Greyhound. <laughs> I had a bit about like how I was. I was surprised the bus even stopped after that. <laughs> usually, usually they just keep on going. and hope the shit works itself out. <laughs> yeah, uh, that guy, what was he? He was just like schizophrenic or something. He, he cut some guy's head off that was sitting next to him. He's schizophrenic. He cut, it was a carny. Canada man who behead bus passenger granted freedom. Oh, yeah. What? The Canadian legal system is insane. Wait, what? Yeah, no, he got, he, he's like, he got like out. He's been granted freedom. Full freedom? Yeah, no, it's crazy. It, it, when you read this, it'll make you like, Appreciate America. He was deemed not criminally responsible and received mental health treatment. A review board in Manitoba ordered his discharge without monitoring, saying he did not pose a significant threat. <laughs> when you behead someone on a bus, aren't you a significant threat? I just feel like once you beheaded someone, that's it. That's it for you. Oh my God. Right? He re- removed his internal organs. <laughs> he ate them. Repeatedly he repeatedly stabbed of him. him. Oh my God. Cat attack began without warnings alerted by screams from the victim the driver stopped the bus and fled with the passengers as Mr. Baker continued his attack He was found not criminally responsible in 2009 for the killing he spent seven years in treatment secure wing of a psychiatric hospital The voice told me I was the third story of the Bible that I was like the second coming of Jesus And I was to save people from a space alien attack mm. He also said he was really sorry for what he'd done <laughs> It's funny, back to back. It's the best that they took him completely out of context. (laughs) Generally, I'm not a fan of that. But in this in this stretch, I put that back up. I like how they talk him completely out of context and said, "Really sorry." In quotes, not even dot dot dot. I was killing to prevent space aliens, but also my bad. (laughs) Are you sorry? I'm really sorry. I'm really really sorry. Okay. There's something about really sorry that's just very funny for that. Well, he I'm, definitely doesn't pose a significant threat to the safety of the public. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if that's your friend. This guy cut your friend's head off and they just let him out. It's insane. No, I, they did a radio lab about this. Like in America, if you behead someone, that's like the that's end of your. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. As it should be. I feel like once you cut off a head, there's no resuscitating your career. But there, they just like observed him for a little bit. He believed the victim was an alien. Well. He had uh, he had his reasons. 